A playground is no place for walls or barriers, but special needs children face them all the time. Let's take down those walls, one brick at a time. And we're here to help with five tried and true ways to make your playground more accessible. Remember these terms, ground level play, socialization, ADA swings, wheelchair access, and poured in place surfacing or poured rubber surfacing. We thank you and so do the children of our community. Welcome to HC Park. Ready? Ready. All right. <laughs> Here's a great example. Let's call it the gold standard. A new playground we helped design and build for harvesting capabilities in Peru, Indiana. Before this park, there was no place for our children with special needs to play. They couldn't manipulate through the, the um, mulch in the regular playgrounds. You can't get a wheelchair through mulch. So this is special needs built, designed, perfected for them. Sue and our salesperson Mandy Jordan, the city, volunteers, kids and their parents, and donors large and small, all worked together to build this playground brick by brick. They've created an all-inclusive place where everybody can play. And I think it's really important that kids of all walks of life play together and learn from each other and can you know travel through the different pieces of equipment and play together helping each other and playing instead of what some of these kids are so used to is coming to a playground and sitting and watching and there's nothing to do. Well, you got a good smile. I don't know why you're grouchy. You say cheese. So who's loving this? Kids like Carter who's wheelchair bound. And for children on the autism spectrum, this structure is a climber on the outside and a quiet place on the inside. The HC Playground has removed the walls between play and children with special needs. So you can be ADA compliant and then you can be wheelchair accessible. So those are two different things. Accessibility, compliancy, inclusivity, what do they all mean? This swing is ADA compliant. This one is wheelchair accessible. But this entire playground is fully accessible, compliant, and inclusive top to bottom. So what makes a structure ADA compliant is to have an equal amount, or it's actually a ratio of equipment or play on the top of the structure versus the bottom of the structure. So it's not exactly one in one, but if you have seven features on the top, if you have climbers and slides and things like that on the top, then you need to have the proper ratio of play equipment or features at the bottom of the structure. So if someone doesn't want to go up through the access points or up through the ramps, then they can be playing on the different uh, areas on the bottom of the structure. And there's plenty of play on the ground here. Starting with this handicap accessible merry-go-round, everybody plays. And the ground level activities go beyond play panels, musical instruments, and games. Everything in this park is designed for kids with special needs and she gave us information on this is for tactile, this is for um, you know hand-eye coordination, everything has a purpose. There's a little hideout called Poseidon's Hideout, it's a, the little blue dome. Mm -hmm. Kids with autism tend to get overwhelmed and, and they either shut down or they go berserk and that little hideout is kind of a timeout place where they can go and collect their thoughts and, and have quiet time. It's like an arch climber um, so the kids can climb up and over, they can go inside it and then climb out from inside. Um, but it creates kind of a little cave-like feel. And there's a, there was a little boy earlier and he was kind of tucked in there and it was a little shaded and it was kind of loud and there were a lot of kids out here and he went in there and just laid in there for a little bit. And it was kind of a cozy little hiding spot for him for a minute. So he took a little time out and just had some calm and then came back out and played with everybody. And there are additional pieces that work for all kids and abilities, encouraging play and socializing. Here we have, you know, bongos and rain wheels, and um, there's some areas where they can, you know, this accessible merry-go-round they can get into, and just little levels and tic-tac-toe and different play panels that they can do. What this park does 
It enables children with disabilities and special needs to play with other children. And it enables other children to play with special needs kids. When they started talking about the playground, this is the one thing I was in love with. Because I remember as a child being in a wheelchair, I couldn't swing. I was born in 71, so I've been disabled in a walker wheelchair pretty much my whole life. And I was, the only thing on a playground that I could do was swing. And I couldn't imagine being a child today and not have a swing. And this is just kind of like a dream that it's really cool for children at all capabilities. There's an ADA uh, swing, the Gen Swing, it is that green Gen Swing, where a child can sit in or be placed in that swing. Their legs are supported, and then there's an adjustable strap that goes over the child to hold them in, and then they can swing. Watch that side, and we unlatch that side. And the other side is a wheelchair accessible swing, and it's an adult size, so adults and children can wheel their wheelchairs onto the platform and, and feel that sensation of swinging. And that middle bar um, is a pull chain, and it's an it's a accessory attachment. So the person on the platform can uh, take a hold of that pull chain, and it's like the sensation of kicking the feet, but you're pulling to create the momentum for that platform to start to swing back and forth and be able to feel that you know breeze in your face and start to feel the sensation of swinging <laughs> a simple smile from Carter says so much he's able to access the entire play structure thanks to the ramps that take him to the top kids in wheelchairs can access any part of this park the ramps are, we designed, originally it had just an on-ramp and we decided we needed an off-ramp too for kids with wheelchairs. And Mandy and I kind of did that together so they'd have more things to do. And you can decide, do you want a structure that has the wheelchair ramps and the access for wheelchairs or walkers to go up through the structures? Or are you just looking for maybe more a more minor change? And in planning, you want to think about accessibility as far as surfacing. We used poured rubber surfacing on this project so that the kids in wheelchairs and walkers can easily access the playground and roll around the equipment and get from place to place easily. And that gets us to surfacing. What are the most important things when you're building an inclusive playroom? I would say the surfacing, absolutely, yeah. There, there's all kinds of surface and the only thing that's really truly accessible is this poured rubber surface. I think we've had more comments on it than anything we've done in the park. What the poured rubber provides is access so that these kids can wheel around and move around the playground and be running, you know, like right now there's kids running and chasing each other. They can be in the middle of that. So they're not out of their chairs, but they're rolling, they're rolling and accessing and, and chasing with their friends just like everybody else. So what's inclusive? This playground is inclusive. Everybody can enjoy the park. Everybody. All children. So on our sign it says a playground for all. And that, that was our, our goal. To create a playground for all. And they did. For more videos on ways to make your playground more inclusive and comfortable, please be sure to see our other videos and subscribe at aaastateofplay.com.